Picture a time before bridges spanned our rivers, before cities lit up the night, before GPS helped us find our way. Picture a time when the only thing keeping ships from running aground at night were simple lighthouses. For 200 years in the United States, lighthouses were the main way that most ships knew where they were as they moved up and down the coast, and the Hudson River is home to many. The first lighthouse built along the river was right at the mouth. The Sandy Hook Lighthouse is the oldest lighthouse in the United States that is still standing. It was built in 1764, and it still shines brightly today. It was followed further up the hill by the Nevisink Lighthouse, high above the river's mouth, and several other lighthouses around the mouth of the river. 1764 was early. The U.S. wasn't even a country back then, and further up the river, there were no lighthouses marking the way for another 60 years. Two years after the opening of the Erie Canal, as steam was beginning to power ships. The traffic on the river began to increase, especially at night. Lighthouses were needed to mark the way. In 1826, a lighthouse was constructed at Stony Point, and was followed soon after by six more lighthouses. In order, as you travel up the Hudson from Battery Park, you will find the Little Red Lighthouse or Jeffrey's Hook, Sleepy Hollow Lighthouse just below the Tappan Zee Bridge. Stony Point, Esopus, Rondout Creek, Saugerties, and Hudson Athens. Lighthouses are special buildings. They were built to be sturdy, useful, and sometimes to be beautiful as well. Building them in remote spots was often a challenge for the technology of the times. A challenge that was considered important enough to meet. They stand as monuments to the engineers and workers who figured out how to build Victorian mansions in the middle of a mighty river. Once built, a keeper had to stay at all times to make sure the fire on the old lights was always lit when needed. Keeping a fire going through storms and winter cold was a difficult job, and it took a special kind of person. When our country was new, lighthouse keepers were so important that they were appointed directly by the president. Many keepers became heroes of their time by rescuing the crews of sinking ships. Today, the lights come on automatically. Even my little kayak has a GPS, and people go to sea to be pampered. So sometimes we forget how difficult things were for those who came before us, who braved the stormy seas in simple sailing vessels, and depended on lighthouses and their keepers to find their way home. <laughs>